Hey, what's going on? So, I uh, tried this whole vlogging thing, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll start doing some of these to kind of keep up with videos. I kind of, I, I kind of suck at, uh, putting videos out regularly, but, um, yeah, try to stay tuned to the, to the end. I know it's kind of a long video. I usually don't do long videos, but, uh, this was a heck of a day, but thanks for watching anyway. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, so I, I plan on taking today off, you know, chilling out of the house. Took yesterday off. Today's Sunday. Um, I woke up to a text message from a broker that I deal with them pretty regularly. Um, and one of their trucks broke down, so I got a she asked me if I could go ahead and recover the load and run another one. So I said, sure, why not? Well, I guess I'll do it, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We try to go recover this guy's truck. Well, not the truck, really, the trailer. Um, and run, run a load. All right, so we just grabbed my truck. Uh, it's cold, man. We got the truck and the trailer. Uh, this is gonna be a drop of the hook, so I'm gonna grab my trailer. I already got it. Uh, go down there, pick up an empty from her uh, lot, and then drop my trailer off. That way, when I'm done with this run, it's a round trip. When I'm done with it, I can just uh, hook up to my trailer and go to where I gotta go tomorrow. So, set myself up. So, let's go. All right, so we're gonna drop my trailer real quick. We're gonna pick up that one that's in front of me. We're gonna head out.
right, so apparently there's a mix up. I had to drop that loaded trailer back up there before I left. And uh, I don't know. I guess the load that I, suppose, that I just picked up <clears throat> is actually for tomorrow. And the guy that uh, is broke down has the only one left for today. And uh, somehow they got mixed up on whose load was what and what was where, or whatever. Because one guy wasn't working yesterday or something. And uh, he told her she he had food poisoning, so he didn't work. And all this. But it clearly says on the paper that he picked up the load. He picked up two loads yesterday and ran with them. So, yeah. Apparently, it was funny though because this guy, I've, I've met him before, and he has, uh, he's been talking about leaving a lot. <laughs> they always talking about leaving. So his name was under her company for the first load that he picked up. And then the second load that he picked up was for a different company. And his handwriting is very distinctive. So it's pretty easy to figure out that that was him. But I didn't tell her that because hey, that's his business. He's a grown man figure it out however you want so he must have grabbed one of their trailers came down and ran that one and jacked everything up uh, yeah <laughs> but now I'm on, I'm on my way over here to this uh, it's right across the street here this truck stop I'm gonna take this guy's load up there so it gets delivered today yeah. So apparently this guy just got his authority last week and uh, just started running on his own numbers and stuff, whatever. And his truck broke down. <coughs> Sorry, I just ate some pizza. But uh, I walked over there and I said, hey, how's it going, whatever, I gotta get, I'm supposed to get this load and this, that, and the other. But I can't get it to start. He's got a mechanic over there. Mechanic says, oh, it, he's got power. It'll turn, but it won't start. I said, you think it's his fuel pump? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> like, come on, man. You didn't even check. You, been out, he's been broke down for two days. And the mechanic didn't even know what was wrong with it. I'm telling you. <coughs> All right, so they're gonna pull him out. This dude that's pulling it, apparently he's the boss man uh, to that company or whatever, that uh, repair company right there. They can't seem to figure out what the problem is. <clears throat> they told him that uh, it's not their problem. He bought somebody else's fuck ups. Exact words that came out of his mouth. So let's hook up to the trailer, man. <laughs> I 
anyway, so I ended up getting a guy. Uh, I went to go get the truck, right? And I mean, you guys already seen it. So uh, they pulled him out of the way, all this stuff. Even the owner guy was like, oh, I don't know, you're going to have to take it to a Caterpillar, da 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 And as I walked up to it the second time, the guy, <laughs> he was just spraying an entire bottle of ether into the damn thing. Like, it was cranking, it was it was trying to turn over and everything, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't going, man. So anyway, he pulled him out of the way, and guy that was driving it <coughs> he was like he looked at me he's like hey you care if I get a ride back with you I was like what <laughs> but the guy lived up where I live up near me and uh, I didn't really mind it too much so I let him I, I did give him a ride back you know uh, and I had a conversation with him on the way back that threw me for a loop, man, because it it justifies what a lot of people are out here saying, that people are getting into something and they don't know what they're getting into. This guy just bought that truck. He's 60 some years old, or no, he's in his mid 50s actually. He said he's getting close to 60. And he didn't know that he needed, <laughs> he didn't know that he needed his MC certificate to run uh, his truck down the road. He didn't know that he needed his hut sticker to run down the road in New York. He didn't know he needed a permit book and have that paperwork ready on hand. He doesn't know how to run his ELD. Uh, he doesn't know how to connect his phone to his ELD through Bluetooth. Uh, <laughs> doesn't know anything about trucks. He said he doesn't. He's not very mechanically inclined. He he told me I don't know anything about trucks really uh, outside of being a company driver you know I mean I, I felt kind of bad for the guy but at the same time I didn't because you should know something you should know what you're getting yourself into you know or at least have an idea of what you're getting yourself into you know he bought the trunk the guy was so you know young ho about oh it's a it's a great truck da 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 I put a lot of money into this truck, this, that, and the other. Well, the last IFTA sticker on that truck was 2015. It's 2018 now. Actually, might as well say it's almost 2019 because it's December. That truck's been sitting for three years, at least, uh, depending on when he stopped running it in 2015, right? He's trying, he wants to get the guy that sold it to him, he wants to get him to pay for the damage or, or the repair bill. He asked me if I thought he was going to, and I said, no, I, I don't think the guy's going to do it. He's like, well, he said he was like a man of his word and da 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 da, -da and he, he used to be a Marine and his words, everything, and da da da. -da. I said, I, <laughs> that's a salesman's tactic right there doesn't matter what's wrong what he says at the end of the day he's not gonna pay you. he's not gonna try to pay you for a fuel pump or anything else he's gonna say you put some bad fuel in there you know uh, sucks for the guy but hey you drove it away it's out of his hands he's not gonna let you he's not gonna pay anything you know you didn't get it from a dealer you got it from a guy <laughs> Man. But uh so then I asked him about his whole hut. I said, you know, you know running this load that you're doing, 
And this is one of the reasons why I don't like running it, is because the, the highway tax in New York, it's, it's an intrastate run. So the highway tax in New York, it's gonna eat you alive. And you don't know yet. And he's like, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, I live in Mass, so this is what he said. He said, I live in Mass, so I'm not gonna pay that much in, in, in IFTA or hut tax for New York. I said, yeah, you will. <laughs> I said, How, how's that? I said, well, it's IFTA. It depends on where you get your fuel at for, for that part. But then you got the highway use tax for New York that you're gonna pay regardless. It doesn't matter if you live in Massachusetts, Jersey, Philadelphia, or uh, Pennsylvania, or anywhere. If you run in the state of New York, you're gonna pay that tax, just how it is. If you run in New York. <clears throat> he didn't know that he still tried to tell me no I live in Massachusetts so I'm not gonna pay it like a New York somebody living in New York would. <laughs> so kind of had to school him on it <laughs> and tell him that was wrong so uh, I hate to say it but guys he's already gonna fail and I hate saying that because it's not like I want people to, to come and fail or do this trucking thing and fail, but he has already set himself up for failure because he doesn't know anything. Bought a truck, someone else's problems, and didn't even know what he was looking for in a truck. He didn't even, he just didn't know. He flat out told me that. He was going off of somebody else's word, telling him that he's buying a good truck, and he didn't know anything about a truck. <laughs> so I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those things, man. You can't be mad at anybody but yourself. that's it man that's all I got for this one um, a few other things that the guy didn't know about that I, that I kind of brought to his to his attention or something like that as far as getting a mechanic that he needs he was gonna get a, a mechanic down there at the bottom of that run like the end of that run he was gonna get them to be his mechanic right the one that he wants to do all the work on his truck and I told him he doesn't, that's not a smart thing. Because you don't live there. You live in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. You need to get a mechanic up in that area. So, which Pittsfield's like 20 miles, 20, 30 miles from where, actually maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit farther from where I dropped my truck off. But I did give them their number. Uh, like, hey, <laughs> try to maybe contact these guys or find somebody a lot closer to where you live because uh, you'd rather be home and not be catching a ride like this back to your home state or the nearest uh, hotel to where he was at <laughs> was a casino so he actually stayed in his truck overnight and it's cold up here right now. It's it's pretty dang cold. So instead of paying for a hotel at a casino, he stayed in his truck, not running all night. And it's a 2006 Peterbilt. So you know he was cold. But, but yeah, that's all I got, man. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna head home, grab my stuff for the week, and. Uh, actually start working for what I was planning on working. Stay tuned, man. See ya.